actually, I'm in the Los Angeles Women's International Film Festival and I'm going to go and see lots of short films. So I'm here at the LA Women's International Film Festival and I've just seen six shorts, short films, and I'm lucky enough to speak to one of the directors of one of them, which is called, um, the movie is called Sophie. Hi, how are you? Hi, good, how are you? Good, yeah. Are you enjoying the film festival? I am. It was a really good program to open up the festival. A lot so of good. I can definitely relate to it. Yeah. How did you come up with the idea? So I wanted to create a film that a lot, anyone at any age was going to be able to relate to. I wanted to do something that I knew about and kind of like a transitional coming of age type story that was fun and lighthearted, so you can walk away with a smile on it. How long did it take in general to come up with the idea? So I, it took maybe three months to develop it. I knew around March of the year that I was going to do this project. I had a general idea of the storyline and then I didn't get a script and story until like June or July and then we kept on developing it and shot for three days in October and then post-production for another six months. Yeah. Everything. Whole thing. Whole thing. Everything adds up. It's incredible up. that something so short can take that long. Yeah, yeah. It, so is there anything in particular that you've learned along the way that you, that you found really helpful? Uh, since day one, I've just tried everything I could and tried to be as hands-on as possible because there are so many different aspects and components that go into a film that if you're going to direct and call something your own, you need to understand the effort everyone else mm -hmm. is putting in and how they can help you and how you can help them. And mm -hmm. each, it's a lot of little stepping stones to mm -hmm. lead to the top. Um, what would your three top tips be on becoming um, a director of short films? Um, so it's really important that you know the ending of the story before you start writing it and you know where it's going to go instead of having a series of events and not being able to tie it up nicely with a bow. Uh, work with people you've worked with before and that you can trust and try and relax and remember you are making a movie, it should be fun. So I've just come out of watching all the short films and all of them are, are as incredible as each other. But my favourite one was Sophie, who I've just in, and who the director I've just interviewed. And they were all just so incredible and inspiring and had such good stories behind them and why they're inspired. So I hope to see some more today and I'm just going to go and explore around. See you later.